Introduction to Turning In this course, we will learn the basic cutting parameters and their effects on the turning process. Turning is a conventional material removal process from a rotating workpiece using a single point cutting tool moving linearly. Turning is the combination of two movements. The feed movement of the cutting insert can be along the axes of the workpiece or fed toward the center. Cutting feeds are usually combinations of these two directions, resulting in tapered or radius surfaces. The most important cutting parameters used in the turning process are workpiece material, cutting tool material, machining parameters, and cutting environments. These parameters must be selected correctly for successful turning operations. One of the most important parameters in turning is the workpiece material. The machinability of workpiece material directly affects cutting forces, tool wear, power consumption, as well as surface quality. Cutting tool material is another important parameter to be considered. As tool wear reduces product quality and increases machining cost, appropriate cutting tools should be selected in accordance with the workpiece material and the required application. Therefore, Depending on the workpiece material and desired process parameters, cutting tools with the appropriate geometrical characteristics need to be selected. As seen in the image, the cutting tool materials are produced from six different materials, diamond, cubic boron nitride, ceramic, cermet, carbide, and high-speed steel. Cutting speed and spindle speed in turning. The cutting speed is the surface speed at which the tool moves along the workpiece in meters per minute. The spindle speed is the rotation of the chuck and workpiece in revolutions per minute. Cutting speed is the speed difference between the cutting tool and the surface of the workpiece it is operating on. In another word, it is the linear length of the removed material from the workpiece in one minute by the cutting tool. In turning, milling, and drilling machines, the rotational speed of the spindle, in other words, the revolution, is calculated using the formula given on the screen. In this formula, D refers to the diameter of the workpiece on the lathe. In milling and drilling machines, it refers to the diameter of the cutter and drill. At what speed? Should the spindle of the lathe rotate according to the cutting speed and workpiece diameter information given on the screen? Calculate the spindle speed using the given values. Chip thickness is the process of thinning or thickening the chip depending on the lead angle of the cutting tool. As the value of the lead angle decreases, the cutting tool cuts from a wider surface. This allows for higher feed rate chip removal while improving the cutting tool life. However, it also leads to an increase in cutting forces. When the lead angle is 90 degrees, the chip thickness value becomes equal to the feed rate value because the sine of 90 is 1. When the approach angle is 45 degrees, the cutting feed value becomes higher because the sine 45 is 0 0.707. The graphics show the effect of depth of cut, feed rate, and cutting speed parameters on the cutting tool life in the turning process. If the depth of cut is too low, the chip control becomes difficult, vibration and heating increase and also, it is not an economical machining method. If the depth of cut is too high, high power consumption, insert breakage and high cutting forces occur. If the feed rate is too low, rapid flank wear or chip adhesion occurs on the cutting tool. It is also not an economical machining method. If the feed rate is too high, the surface quality of the workpiece worsens, the power consumption of the machine increases, crater wear and chip welding may occur in the cutting tool. If the cutting speed is too high, rapid tool wear and plastic deformation on the cutting tool may occur. The surface quality of the workpiece may deteriorate. If the cutting speed is too low, Build-up edge occurs on the cutting tool. The surface quality of the workpiece worsens. It is also not an economical machining method. The net power required for metal cutting is mainly of interest when roughing, 
where it is essential to ensure that the machine has sufficient power for the operation and is measured in kilowatts. The efficiency factor of the machine is also of great importance.